Welcome to The Key, where we unlock all that God has for you. I'm Jen Lee, and my mission is to connect you with the God who created you for a purpose. In John 10.10, 10, it says that the thief came only to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come to give them life, and life more abundantly. Amen. I hope you guys had a great week. I feel like time is kind of flying by and I've been, I've had a little more um, kind of free time put back in my schedule because of a couple things that I surrendered. And so that has been great because I have been able to just spend more time with the Lord and listening and hearing and um, just talking with him. So I actually felt like I could have had multiple messages for you today, but I just really wanted to talk a little bit. I'm going to take you to 1 Corinthians 2, and I'm going to read you the key scriptures first. So we're going to be in 1 Corinthians 2, um, verses 2 to 5, which says, For I determined not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. I was with you in weakness, in fear, and in trembling. And my speech and my preaching were not with persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power, that your faith should not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. So my question for you today is when you think about who you are learning from, who you are following, who you are allowing to speak into your life, are they people that you believe have persuasive words, have head knowledge of the Lord, maybe have a lot of biblical knowledge? Or do they have that and have evidence of the spirit and power of God? That may have been a confusing question, but I was thinking about how there's, there's, there's a key difference right now that I really want to um, pay attention to between these different preachers and teachers and even pastors and leaders that we're listening to. And the difference is some of them have the head knowledge of Christianity. They have the head knowledge of the Bible, but they know nothing of the spirit. They know nothing of the power of God or the true power of prayer or prayer in the spirit. They, they know nothing of that. They know nothing about um, the true heart connection with Jesus, the passion that we can have for God and for his people. And that's why sometimes it can be a little confusing because you can meet someone and they can be someone who has been in ministry for 40, 50 years and they speak and they preach and teach in a church and you go there and you walk out and you don't feel any different than when you came in. A lot of the time, that's because that person is not walking in the power of the Spirit. They're not relying on the Holy Spirit to empower them for ministry. It may be just religion to them. It may be just head knowledge, something that they know intellectually. And the truth is, is we need so much, we need so much more than that right now. If we are going to really, I want to say walk out God's calling in our lives, but also I kind of want to say just survive, okay? Just survive 
um, the, the times that we are living in and that we're coming into, we need to have intimacy with God. We need to know Jesus Christ. We need to know not about him. We need to know who he is. We need to know him. We need to talk with him every day. We need to wait and listen and learn how to hear his voice and recognize it. You know, wait for him to speak back. Don't just rattle off your prayers and your requests and then walk away. That is one of the best things that I learned is that, you know, there's, there needs to be a time where we actually wait on God and we, we wait and we listen for his voice. We actually wait and listen for him to respond. Boy, that is not something that I learned as a child. I don't know about you, but it's made such a huge difference in my life. So the days that we are living in, okay, we are going to need to know truly who Jesus is. What I wanted to encourage you with about that today is that if you just determine to do that, if you just decide, I am going to get to know God on a deeper level. Here's the wonderful thing. There's so many wonderful things. But my point today is all these other things, wisdom about an array of other things will come naturally through your getting to know God. Because as he gives you his wisdom, he doesn't just give you wisdom about one area of life. He gives you wisdom about every area of life. Everything that you encounter throughout the day, the week, the month, the year, he gives you wisdom about those things. So this is one of the reasons why it is so important to put your relationship with him first. And I just wanted to put this out there. My, I am starting to do spiritual life coaching. And my main goal is just to help people learn how to become more confident following God, knowing that they absolutely can follow the, follow him and do it with confidence. I want to teach people to be able to better hear his voice through the word and through the spirit. And really, I want to help heal people. I want to help heal people's hearts from all of the things that they've been through. So if you are interested in spiritual life coaching by me, I want you to, um, you can leave me a private message. You can reach me on my website, thekeywithjenlee.com, or you can even comment on these videos and I will respond because I just started, but in a way I do not feel like I've just started because I've really been doing this sort of thing for quite a few years, but I just was not turning it into a business. And then I really felt like the Lord said, it is time to take it to the next level. So we're turning this into a business and I'm hoping to be able to reach many more people than I was before. So let me know if that is something that you are interested in. But just a few verses later, I wanted to read this as well says, now we have received, this is verse uh, 12 in that same chapter. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. These things we also speak not in words, which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual but the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. So as we move forward, I want to do more teaching on discernment 
And I actually had a friend that was just in here about an hour ago. And we got on this really amazing, I felt like spirit-led conversation about discerning of spirits and the wisdom of God and, and just discerning different things that are going on around us and even in people around us. And she was telling me something that she sensed the other day with someone she was with. And I just thought to myself, if we all could learn this, how to discern what's going on in the spirit realm, it would be such a mighty tool for us. It would bring us such greater understanding in learning how to navigate um, the relationships in our life, but also just all kinds of different situations. Because the Holy Spirit is always seeking to guide us, always. And you know, so many people, I think before they're saved, um, before they know God, they just, they call it their conscience, or they might say, you know, in my gut, in my gut, I knew this. And I still say that sometimes, but um, in the Holy Spirit speaks to us in that same place. It feels like you just know it deep down. And sometimes you can't put words to it, but you will just know sometimes the Lord will say, don't share much with that person. He, he warns you not to trust them, not to be too open because maybe they have a problem with gossip. Maybe they don't really like you. Maybe they're jealous. Maybe they were going to be ready to spread some gossip about you or some rumors. That is what the Holy Spirit does all the time is he warns us about things like that. He warns us, you know, this person might be operating in a spirit of jealousy. This person might be operating in a spirit of lust. You know, don't open yourself up to them. <clears throat> so I just really want to put that out there, that that is something that I am wanting to do more teaching on. And actually, I've invited this friend to come back, hopefully in the next few weeks. And I think we will do some teaching on discerning of spirits, because this friend in particular, I've known her for quite a few years, I believe really has a gifting in this area. And... Um, it can be overwhelming for people at first because you feel, you sense things going on in the spirit realm that you sometimes can't even put words to. You will sense, um, you'll be going about your day feeling perfectly fine and you'll go a certain place and you will feel um, oppression. Sometimes you'll feel depression. You'll feel anxiety come up out of nowhere. And sometimes if, you, if you're not being discerning, <laughs> You might think it's just you and it's not you. You're picking things up in the spirit realm. And I, a lot of these people, we kind of refer to them as feelers, people that really feel and sense things in the spirit. Um, and I know that I am one of those people. I always have been. I used to not really understand what it was. I used to think that it was just because I was so tender or emotional. You know, I would not realize that sometimes these things weren't me. They weren't coming from the inside of me and going out. There were things that I was sensing in other people. And, you know, the things that we're carrying, the spirits that we are dealing with, we change atmospheres. So when I walk into a place, you know, I hope to always bring the peace of God with me, the joy of the Lord. But, you know, sometimes you walk into a place and you can sense like something is not good in here. And do you think it's just the building? <laughs> Usually it's not. Usually it's the people that are in that place. We are all walking around carrying different things with us. So that's kind of a side message there. But just to let you know, if you're interested in that, I think we really all need to dig into some deeper spiritual teaching to navigate the times ahead. Um, just let me know and leave a comment and I will be very excited to be digging into more of that soon. But I pray you guys had a great week and that you have a great weekend with your family. And um, just dig in, dig in and determine this weekend to get to know God a little bit better, get to know his voice a little bit better. My next key conference is coming up next Friday night, the 18th. And it's at 6.30 p.m. and we will wrap up around 8 o'clock. So if you're interested, you can go to my website, get registered for that. And I would love to see you there. All right. You guys have a great week. I will talk to you soon on The Key. I need to dream.